<clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, well, good morning. And uh, just this a little bit. Well, it's uh 10:30 a.m. U.S. Central Time here, and let me uh go ahead and preface this. Let me uh get this out of here. But let me uh let me preface this by saying this video here is going to be somewhat rehearsed. I tried to do a video of this early this morning, but I had just woken I had just woken up from a nap like five ten minutes five ten minutes before this video before I got this video going, so I was very out of it. Not to mention I was still <clears throat> there was still I still had to get a bully stream going, so I had to kind of make preparations for that, and at the same time I had to kind of rush it, so. I, a lot of hemming and hawing and a lot of not talking sense, speaking in tongues and whatnot. So, so this is going to be somewhat rehearsed. I kind of went over a lot of this stuff earlier this morning. So, I'm hoping that I'm probably going to sound a little more fluent than I did uh, this morning where I was basically talking gibberish. So, I ended up having a shit can that video and then restart it. Basically, this morning I got... I went on the Path of Exile forums here, checked off this thread here, bought um, <clears throat> solo cell phone, and what's the point in it, and what and whatnot. So, and like I usually do, I'll just I'll give my opinion on it, and then I'll go down the rest of the thread, and I'll comment on everybody's posts. Like I always say, I'm not trying to call out anybody or not trying to embarrass anybody, but a lot of times I get inspiration from other people's posts so that can help me give me better answers. And um, plus, if it's uh, if it's some, if it's something that requires a fairly constructive answer, I'd rather talk it out than type it out. I mean, because I already do enough typing as it is between um, between typing out my blog post and you know. You know, and then having to shop that blog post to Twitter, Google Plus, Patreon. Um, plus, if there's any uh, YouTube videos I have to upload, I gotta type down descriptions for them, tags, and all sorts of other stuff. So I already do enough typing. So it'd be nice to just be able to talk it out rather than type it out. But with that out of the way, a guy named uh, Bell Dolph. If that's how it's pronounced. Had a question about a uh, solo cell phone, my default gameplay. Or I should say, my main gameplay. My one and only gameplay. Okay, I care just a while. I never joined a party in March. Doing either. So, my question is Is there some sort of advantage or difference that should compel me to click that button? Um, my reasoning on that, why not? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, at least as far as ARPGs go, I'm a solo player. I don't, I'm not a fan of partying up. I'm not a fan of trading. I'm, I'm basically, I'm all about self-sufficiency. Uh, keeping interact, keeping trading and all that with other players to a bare minimum. Um, secondly, having um, having solo cell phone, having that flag, and having that flag next to my name. Um, oh, I gotta explain it. It's like um, it's like at your house, having a sign in front of your house that says "Protected by Homeland Security." You know, burglars are gonna go out there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! This one, this one's guarded. Let's get out of here. Pew, you know, off they go. Kind of the same thing here. You know, I'm, I'm not bombarded with uh, party invites, guild invites, um, you know, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that was uh, that happened fairly often in all the other games I played that didn't have this. They didn't have a solo cell phone league. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say mode. I'm gonna say mode slash game mode instead of league. It just mostly, mostly out of habit. Let me go back down here. Uh, 
But uh, getting back to what I was saying, I could um, I could cut out a whole. I can cut out pretty much all of that, just by going, just by choosing solo self-bound mode, and just bypassing all that, because it was a pretty common issue with all the other games I played, just constant invites, spam invites, cut out a lot of the clutter. But I think there was something else I was wanting to say on here too, but I can't remember what, so. I'll just keep going right on down the line. Um, it's just for bragging rights. Oh. Also, because of, um, because of where my webcam is placed, I, I have to have it on the lower right corner, so it might actually cover up some of the names. I'm going to try to keep the post that I'm commenting on towards the center of the screen, but if I don't, for whatever reason, apologies in advance. Uh, bragging rights? Uh, yes and no. Um, me, join, me joining Solo Southbound is a personal choice. I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not out to prove anything or anything like that. I'm not out to broadcast the fact that, uh, I did it all my way or anything like that. It's just a personal choice. But on the other hand, I could see how, uh, other people would do that, though. Um, back it up. I'm trying to think. I mean back. I mean back when I was playing uh back when I was playing Diablo 2. Diablo 2 mostly, but uh, I think other games too. Just everybody is bragging about their best in slot items. You know, and but you know, everybody and their dog already knows for a fact they probably went on a third party website and paid for it with world with world money. So nothing impressive about that. Yay, he's got yeah, yay, he loosened the purse strings. Woohoo! You know. Whereas uh, some other some other players wanted to actually actually do it legitimately, you know, said hey, you know, they didn't have to they didn't have to pay for it with real pay for their bills with real money or anything like that. So I could see it going that way as well. I want to brag about that. Kind of goes back to what I was saying on the last post. Um. Some people want to brag about their solo self-found achievements because they're trying to stand out. You know, they're trying to they're trying to rise above the whole. They're trying to rise rise above the crowd. They don't want to follow the herd of all the other players that that basically paid for their paid for their builds, paid for their equipment. Yep, and this would be my answer too. Um. I mean, on one end, I, I do the things I do because I don't like the way everybody else does what they do. But again, it's not, it's just my desire, to, it's, it's my desire to do something different. I don't like following a herd, but at the same time, I don't, I don't like preaching my point of view to other people. So. Uh, Atlas Reset. I'd rather finish what I started. I wouldn't want to reset it. I'm not really sure how that works. I would think that all of I would think that your stash, your solo self bomb stash would stay exactly where it is. Only you, the character Maybe the equipment you have on you and in your inventory that just gets shifted over to regular Raised rewards and labyrinth race rewards usually easier to get in solo so um, I Would think because uh, this is probably another reason why I play solo southbound fewer people less crowded um, To me it actually becomes an eyesore when you have a huge swarm of people in, in town. I mean, um, World of Warcraft had this issue. Um, RuneScape had that issue. Final Fantasy XIV had that issue. Um, popular games had that issue. I just wanted my own, my own nice little patch of land that wasn't crowded. Give me some peace and quiet. So, 
based on that, I could probably see this too because there's less competition. There's fewer players in solo southbound and even fewer in solo southbound hardcore. Solo cell phone. Mostly streamers don't implicitly prove that they did it on their own, supporting it. I, um, I pretty much, yeah, I pretty much agree with all of this. Except for the competitive part. I'm not, I'm not here to compete. Again, solo cell phone is a personal choice for me. I wasn't doing it just to spit on everybody else. to grind all items again just yep and this is um I remember me saying this this morning for those of you that are interested in, in doing solo cell phone in order to unlock it I believe the same with hardcore as well you have to complete act 3 on the storyline yeah I think you also unlock the ski on class 2 but when you do I my best advice on that is get started on hardcore and or solo cell phone hardcore immediately. That way, you know, don't don't just keep playing on standard mode all the way through and then turn around and play solo cell phone again because then all that effort you spent is gonna be wasted. I mean unless I mean you could probably juggle between the two between the two modes, but that I mean when you try to do that, one of they both suffer. There was an old uh, old Chinese proverb, an old saying about that when you try to when you try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody or something like that. Kind of the same thing here. Pick one or the other, not both. So, like I said a few moments ago, if you're going to do solo cell phone, do it immediately after completing um, Act 3. I find it hard to understand all the hassle around trading. Um, I remember me saying this this morning too. Um... This game in Diablo 2 is a big time hassle around trading because there is no in-game central market. Like uh, RuneScape has the Grand Exchange, but for a while it was it was the same as Diablo 2 and uh, this game as well. You had to meet the person face to face and um, hope they didn't try to scam you right then and there. But uh, other games like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, they had like an auction house. It was a central market. Uh, it was much harder to be scammed when you're using an auction house than it is when someone's right there in front of you. More more easier for them to do the slate of hand trick, uh, if that makes any sense. Like um, one common, probably probably one of the most common tricks was to if you wanted if you wanted to buy a certain item, they would give you this. They would give you this junky replica that looked exactly like the item you're looking for but like a non-magical a level one junk cheaper generic um they would try to trick you into buying that instead or sometimes even more sleazy they would actually sell you the item you're wanting but at the very last at the very last second they fake jacks you pull that one out and put a fake one in there just before the trade becomes official so whereas again if you got an au auction house in game, that's a hell of a lot harder to pull off. So that's the hassle around trading. And I remember this this morning. This is another. This is another reason why I switched to solo cell phone. Um, Diablo 2 had it. Uh, constant back and forth. I, this game has it too. You got people at. Oh, I love trading. I found all my best in slot items through trading. And then you had then you had the people that were I hate trading. Trading sucks. A lot of scammers on there, man. Always trying to rip you off. Too much of a hassle. You try to contact somebody and they never answer you and uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's trading is trading in this game in Diablo 2 is too divisive. Too much back and forth, so I'll just go on solo cell phone and just bypass all that.
Yep. Solo cell phone has a shared. I think a um, solo cell phone softcore has a shared stash. Solo cell phone hardcore has, has a separate stash. So they're separate. But if you can keep creating characters in one in one mode, you can share the, the stash can be shared throughout all those characters in that mode. You can't you can't switch back and forth. And yeah, Abdi Al Kavash you said the same thing too. And um this kinda also lends credence to my counter argument. If um I had a I did have a viewer that wanted me to wanted me to migrate my solo cell phone characters to regular standard so I can join his so, uh, I think so he can either A join his guild or B just so he can help me out and presumably he he was gonna give me ten thousand chaos orbs to help me get my build going or you know, something like that, whereas I'm not a fan of that. I don't like free stuff. That was that was another reason I joined Solo Cell Phone. I'm trying to stay away from that. You know, people like you know, I've had it happen. If you, I've had it happen before. People, you know, try to offer me free stuff. Um, when people would spam their guild invites, I think they also they also would offer you free stuff for joining, which again. To me, that's very sleazy. You know, I... Again, I would much rather get it on my own. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. What I, was, what I was trying to say is, uh, this lends creed... This uh, gives strength to my argument, because... You can uh, you can migrate from solo cell phone to regular, but not vice versa. You can't go from standard to solo cell phone. So once I you know once I go, so I can't I can't go back on my decision. So that I mean I basically have to trust you with my life, which I got to do that in an online game in order for that to in order for me to do that. This I remember. I remember reading reading this this morning. This was probably the third reason why I'm on solo cell phone. People, Shag's beard freaking nailed it. Because this was a very common problem back in uh, Diablo 2. Diablo 2 and to a lesser extent other games, but Diablo 2 was rife with this. Players would, players would, uh, Players would like show off their new items. Hey, look what, look what dropped during one of my catacomb runs, or look what, look what dropped during one of my pit runs, and everybody would like call BS on him because he didn't have a screenshot to verify that. You know, so again, you know, if you don't, I mean, to me, if you have no evidence, we're all just going to automatically assume you probably paid for it on a third-party website. So, lots of distrust in that game. Where is it here? That so that uh verified solo self found, you know that it dropped. So that's another reason why I chose solo self found on here. But to be fair, this was a reason that I didn't I wasn't really aware of until until I actually started playing and started posting up my own items that dropped when I make my blog posts. So that, this is the third reason, so good call on that, Shags. Oh, here, let me highlight this whole thing. But yeah, this is probably one upside of the forums in general. The verification thingy here. Yep. As stated before, um, this is all a personal choice to me. I didn't I didn't do this because I was trying to spit on everybody else or because I was trying to just there's a certain being vindictive towards everybody. Vindiction was not my reason. I mean, again, I don't like I don't like doing what everybody else does because to me 
it, it's a herd mentality, which I want nothing to do with, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm personally attacking them. I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense, but... Stash. You can also reset that stash by migrating it to the The only reason I can think of how you could pull that off is if um if you're if you're the only character one and only character in that particular game mode and you migrate that one and only character your stash goes <laughs> disappears um that's probably one of the reasons why uh i have i have a templar that's a uh, solo cell phone hardcore that i probably ain't ever gonna play him again why i don't i mean just my ranger pretty much does uh, all the things i want i wanted to so but yeah i'll bet if uh, if i migrated that templar over that stash is poof, it's just going to disappear. But looks like this is the end of the thread. So, yeah, so I guess that'll do it. And probably what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll probably uh, upload this to YouTube. And then I'll probably use it as the very first post on my, uh, my blog thread. I'll use it as uh, my introductory post. Because it's it says on there I play solo cell phone softcore, and I'll probably put down like and why do I play that? Bing, post the link. So I'll probably do that. But, otherwise, you know, if you made it this far, well, thanks a lot for watching and take care and see you next time.